Hi everybody, David here uh, with ScreenBeam One Take Tips. You just got a screen beam in your classroom. What do you do if you have an iPad that you want to connect? Sometimes uh, you can have a QR code up here and that might work for you to scan that QR code and connect your iPad. But hopefully if your school has set these up in the right way, that your iPad, if you're using your school issued iPad, is connected to your network. And so the screen beam will also be set up that way. So to connect on your screen beam on your iPad, you're just gonna go into your AirPlay menu. In this case, I'm gonna swipe down. I'm gonna select my screen mirroring button. I'm gonna select the screen beam. You can see the screen beam name in the top left-hand corner. You can see the code that pops up. So I'm gonna enter that code here on my, my iPad. And it's gonna have to do a little bit of thinking uh, to do that first connection. Uh, once it connects though, that you can see that you're up and running and you've got your iPad set up and ready to go. Um, and notice again, you can run your iPad in portrait mode or in landscape mode. Everything you would expect to be able to do on your iPad when you're mirroring, if you've used AirPlay before, you're gonna get all those features, even things like turning on your camera and having a camera view and utilizing that in the classroom, all that stuff still works and you're gonna have that use to be, again, free in your classroom to move about the room. You don't have to worry about being tethered to the front of the room and it gives you full flexibility in those spaces. So all the cool things you can do on your iPad, like your pencil, uh, being able to use this as a walking digital whiteboard, that kind of stuff, great tool to be able to use in the classroom. Screen Beam One Take Tips, we got a lot more coming, so stay tuned.